<laughs> right then, today on we're going to make some. Well, I'm going to make some custard creams. Now, I do apologise, I haven't cleaned the kitchen before we start. As you can tell, we do use the kitchen. I say we, uh, me and my brother. So, yeah, we haven't bothered tidying it up, to be honest, because we're losing the light. So, we just decided to go for it. So, what we're going to make today, what do you think? It's going to be some custard creams. As you can see, we're in day three of the lockdown. Uh, we've even taken to trying to learn the piano without a fucking board. But you can't go out, you can't go out, you can't go out. Don't go out. No. Fucker. Oh, sorry. Don't go out. Right, so custard greens. I've got my uh, thing here, my recipe. There you go. Make a note of that if you can read it, which you probably can't, but I can. It's in code, which is called my handwriting. Um, so, first thing we need is 100 grams of butter. Uh, so I'll, this is how you uh, zero out a scale because you're probably thinking to yourself it's on grams so it's on grams it's zero but if you put your bowl on to measure it look what's a terrible look now it's saying 344 no need for it because all you got to do is press zero well look at the wobble on that that's no good at all but anyway now it's zero look so anything added to it measures that for you so see it's all about learning on this channel 100 grams of butter. This isn't butter. It's I can't believe it's not butter. I've actually mentioned this before. I don't know what it is because it doesn't tell you what it is. But it's not butter. It tells you what it isn't. Could have told you that. It's not. A, we could have turned the telly off. All you can hear is virus, virus, virus in the background. Yeah, well, don't worry about it too much because I'm definitely going to get it because I have become a key worker because the shop that sells mixed electronics where I work has been closed. Oh, fucking hell. It's all... Oh, sorry. I must stop swearing in these videos. Yeah, well, that's... Right. So the shop where I work... Well, how are you supposed to do this? The shop where I work that sells mixed electronics happens to be owned by a well-known supermarket chain. And because the electronics shop is now closed, electronics and kids' toys, um, I've become a key worker, whether I want to be or not, and now I've been going out to work at Sainsbury's. I mean, other supermarkets are available. So, that's 100 grams of butter going in the bowl. Expertly filmed this is by uh, my brother, James. Right, well that's still left a fair bit in there. So I might use a different bowl now. So if we can just uh, get behind James. As you can see we're filming on location. In the caravan. Look, that's poor quality bowlmanship, innit? Look. That was zeroed out. This is 13 grams heavier than the other bowl. Disgrace. Right then. Um, next up, we need 100 grams of flour. Now, this is a rare commodity in these days. Flour. I'm wasting, frivolously wasting flour on uh, custard creams. Look at dust. Where's the reality of what are you doing? The reality is I'm wasting flour on custard creams when, you know, there was a bread shortage, but everybody went out and panic brought bread and then realised they'd got nowhere to put it. We sold out of fridge freezers and freezers. Everybody sat on a freezer full of bread, so we're not short on bread anymore, but flour, forget it. Right, 103 grams. Flour. So this is frivolous, but I happen to know that you. I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't know what I'm talking about, really. Um, that's a hundred grams of flour going in. Your sugar, margarine. <gasps> no, don't put the flour in yet. It's supposed to be sugar next. I'm gonna have to use another bowl. 
<laughs> that could have gone wrong. Let's see if this zeroes out. This is shit. Shit bowls. Right, 100 grams of sugar into the butter. We're going to get copyrighted, actually, if we're... The, I'm going to turn this tally off. Can you turn the tally off? All right, that's 100 grams. I'm turning the tally off. So that's the uh, rest. I can't actually get to the cooking area now. <laughs> a big round of applause for James for filming this. Uh, currently, as we speak, the Prime Minister should be making his daily announcement, but he's not bothering. He's recovering from Corona. No, right, and it's just a sniffle. Um, uh, sugar, margarine. Uh, right, we've got to cream these together. Sounds rude. But... Needs must. Now it needs, uh, we haven't got any special equipment because this is a man's kitchen, a very male kitchen, which means we don't have special equipment. Well, we do actually, I've brought loads of gadgets, but basically, in order to cream butter and sugar, you smash it together. Now, it's a lot easier if you've got like uh, a mixing bowl. I was going to buy from a local well-known hardware store that I work at. Not hardware, electronics, toys. Oh, it's Argos. I tell you, it's Argos. But they did the right thing and they closed down. So I haven't got one. Oh, so I would have had one. I was going to actually make this video. But let's do it the old-fashioned way. We're making after the apocalypse uh, cookies. I mean, custard creams. But this is how you cream butter and sugar together and this is also going to be exactly how we make the filling this is what the filling is as well but so you oh god i'm knackered and i can't get to it <laughs> um so i hope there's sound on this the sound should be working i know my volume's down on my phone but the sound's working. so you're creaming it together and uh get used to gritty uh, filling and your custard creams if the apocalypse should ever happen. Uh, that's just one of the many side effects. So I'll be back when I've stopped uh, when I've creamed this. Right, we're going to call this creamed, right? Still got a grittiness you can hear, but have a quick look at the changing consistency, James. Silkier. Look. That's all right, and you can have it. So we have a cheeky taste. I oh, know there's no point actually stopping a bit of filling, maybe. Right then, there's that. So next, we're going to preheat our oven actually in preparation. So it's got to go on to um, gas mark six. You have to do the conversion yourself because I can't be asked to put conversion on the screen. So, about there, let's start it the first time. It's gone out. I've got to clean this oven. It's working now. That's on. Can you get that? Always check your flame in the gas oven. See that? Yeah. Look at rubbish in the background there. We ain't got an alcohol problem or anything. Right then, a little bit more, and that'll have to do now. So next up, you fold in your flour, which is here. So I'll just chuck it straight in. 
Alright then. Um, your custard powder. How much custard powder do I need? 50 grams of custard powder. So I'll do that in here. 50 grams of custard powder. No. Fucking hell, I can smell gas. This is dreadful, this. 50 grams of custard powder. I've had this open for ages. Look, it goes out of date this month. I think it's been open a year. Oh, look at the dust. That's what custard powder looks like. It's horrible. It's pink. You don't think it'll be pink. It does go yellow, though. I think you should definitely have got closer there. <laughs> that weren't being serious. <laughs> 50 grams of custard powder. Forty nine. Fifty. Fine. Fifty grams of this to go in. Mine's come off. Probably got moist or something somewhere. And it smells alright. <laughs> don't do that. Whatever you do, don't do that. Oh, oh, that went right down my lungs, that did. Oh, that was a bad call. Right, let's oh, clean up your clean up your prep area. Sort of. Uh, and we need a few drops of vanilla powder. I mean, vanilla extract in. Now, this went out of date three months ago. But it's basically alcohol. The ingredients are water, ethanol, sugar, and vanilla extract, which are all preservatives. All of them. So how this can ever go off, I don't know. It's come all the way from Madagascar, as this. Um... So, uh, well, that's probably enough, do you reckon? A tiny bit more for luck. It's probably going to be un unpalatably vanilla like now. I can put that away, I think. Can I? I don't know. Oh, it stinks. Right then. So, we've got to fold this together. So. This light's becoming unbearable. Um, that's good. Can you see that now, though? It's seeable. Yeah. Alright, I've got to fold it together until it becomes a workable dough. What if it doesn't become a workable dough? hands in it in a minute. I'm getting, going in with the hands. James says no. Oh, it's coming together, isn't it, look? It's all right. Squeezing it together. Do you need to knead it? I don't think I need to knead it. I'm to clear the work surface thinking about this. I'm going to put these onto the side that's behind my uh, extra special brother. James. So, I don't know what I'm doing here. Quite dry, uh, wet. Quite a wet dough is this. That's about work. Panicking. Uh, what are we gonna do here? Because it needs a bit more flour for me. That I can't. I'll pre-flour my surface. I'm just gonna put butter there. 
Oh, butter on its own, it's vile. Oh, a chef de partie has stepped in. Shite, this is. Oh, that's becoming a dough, isn't it? No more flour. You just keep working it. It's not bread. Now that's a dough. There we go. Look, look at that. That's a dough. That's natural dough, is that? Right, flour. Why has it gone like that? How you feel that? Silky smooth, is that? Silky smooth, soft, beautiful. Oh, I've got some more here. Oh, that's buttery. Look at this! It's working! I'm having a meal with this. That's an actual dough. Sort of. Graceful waste of butter in the apocalypse. I mean flour. Don't you need me rolling pin? Look at that, eh? Oh, I will use me rolling pin thinking about it. Where's my rolling pin? I don't know where my rolling pin is. Now yeah. and we're back. I'm gonna just roll out my dough. Now this surface should have been it's a very hard dough to work with, is this? It's lovely textured. Oh this is a disaster. It's almost like very soft play-doh. Rolled it out to about half a centimetre, I was told. Oh, yeah. About that. Oh, dear. It's going to be rustic. Never made them before. Oh, look at it sticking that, sticking that shit to a blanket, that. It's a Gordon Ramsay quote, is that? He says that. I do watch cooking programs. I want to watch Gordon Ramsay. I like a bit of effing and jaffing with my breakfast. <laughs> Alright then. I'm gonna let's imagine that's about half a centimetre thick. Right, this is secret weapon time. I should have should have prepared myself here, but I've got some shape cutter things somewhere. Are they? Have I still got them, James? They're in the drawer. Are they in the drawer? Are you sure? Next one. Up. No, they're not. No, I'm not about fairy cake cases. Oh, I've got this. This will do. It's not far off a custard cream, that. Okay, well, this will, I thought they were up there, but... There might be. I'll keep this one. I like the shape and size of that one. That's a biscuit, isn't it? Hang on, what is the recipe? Right, then. Right, we've got to cut them. Cut some shapes. I can just hear your breathing, James. I hope these come out nice. But if they do, you know that even someone who doesn't know what they're doing can make nice biscuits. I'll never get these off the surface now, you know. Oh. 
So stay your breathing. Well, they're not very uniformly thick, are they? But allowances are to be made. This is what they're like. Right, like that, that's alright. It's a bit flowery, but well, what can you do? Oh no, what am I doing? I don't know how many to do because I've only. Oh, look, I've wrecked that one. Don't you want to try? I might actually make a. I need a pan. I'm going to actually cheat with my pan and use grease proof paper. I am. I know it feels a bit like cheating this. God, I don't want to go all over that dirty. Oh, this is. See, this is the problem. It never turns out. You watch these baking programs, don't you? And they're just, everything's perfect and lovely. The reality is quite different, I'm afraid. It is for normal people. Betty Crocker, it ain't. Also, some people know how to prepare. To, oh, look at it rolling up now, look. Why is it rolling up? Oh, that's so far off. Oh, come on. Well, that'll do. They're going on there. And that's the end of it. That's the end of that discussion. Right then. Well, that one's not a very good one. <laughs> Why does that? Would it be better to get a pallet knife? Or a little knife? It might do. Good work, James. suggestions all around there. Always have a support network in place. <laughs> you know, someone to sort of ideally talk you out of it when you've decided that you're going to do some cooking. You want someone who's just going to say, just just have a minute. Because look at this now. Using that why, now is this, why is this like this? That's just going to rag it up. Rag it up. It seems to work. Oh, I thought they were going to look a bit better than this. What a mess. That one's thick. You might as well have made dough balls. <laughs> Fuck. There's always... By ragging it around like that, you've lost all the crimping on the edge, love. Yeah, because also... Crimping, we're not ragged. 
Also, no, right. also, I've noticed I'm doing it on the wrong way up. <laughs> I'll have something to do with it. <laughs> oh, this is shit. This is how not to cook, everybody. Oh, you've got a good one. Spot on that. Awesome, why is that one? <laughs> and then the next one comes out like that. Spot the difference. Can't get it off the sideboard. Well, it don't matter, actually. And that's a tray full. So I've still got loads of dough left. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you are now entering the danger zone. There's fucking knives everywhere, right? And also, he's insisted, look how thick that is, too thick, too thick. He's insisted that he knows how to do it better than me. Neither of us have ever done this before. But here is cameraman thrown the chef off his own show. I'll actually film what I'm looking at. Unbelievable this is. Thinks he knows better. Can I cut the next ones? Right, so he hasn't bothered cutting his greaseproof paper ready. This is going to go wrong. He thinks he knows what to do better than I do. So here we go. Making his squares. Can't see, though. That's the problem. Excuse me. Wind's getting up. It's been very sunny today. Day three of lockdown. I can't talk for wind. Day three of lockdown. We are bored. <laughs> I suppose it would be good if I filmed a video every day for lockdown. That would be good for the channel. Uh, I mean, two minds, you'll know how I've released it because it'll already be released by the time I've made this decision. But I mean, two minds to whether or not to release this as a a cooking special or to release this as part of my normal. But it's been a little while since I've released a video. I, I, I can only apologise for that. I'm going to have to release this soon enough. I'll say it's day three of the lockdown if I wait three months from now. Not going to seem very relevant, is it? I bet all the YouTube community are making videos like mad at the minute because there's no else to do. Just flaunting the fact that they can work from home. Disgraceful, really. It's like a very interesting bit of modern art that does, doesn't it? No, he's not put any grease proof down. Alright, oh, the grease notice, proof is finished. You'll notice here's one I prepared earlier. No, well that's gone all over the all over the cookies, the creams. Just the right size. It's the way to do it. There's the oh he's got a psychopathic knife now. Here's the moment of truth. Very vocal in his critique of my Cookies and it's not quite working the way I thought it would. No, it doesn't. See, I'm not a total twat. <laughs> so, um... Comments in the, in the section, please. <laughs> well, it's not quite a simple. Look at the mess of that. Oh dear. <laughs> well, it's not, not that bad right. compared to some of mine. The way I expected. It stuck to my fingers. Can't get it off. <laughs> Right, it's on. That'll do. There it is. More coming. <laughs> yeah, when he's doing well, to be fair, I haven't got the patience. We'll be back when he's transferred these over. Yeah, and we're back, and I'm not going to lie, this is deeply irritating. Um, I'll show you what he's done. Yeah, they look nice, don't they? Yeah, I'm not happy about that, to be honest. Because they're mine. There he is. 
She's a bit annoying. And I bet he's going to reserve that he's got his own top and bottom. I bet he will. Well, anyway, onwards and upwards. So I'll hand the camera back because we're not going to use the rest of that dough for now. Or are we? He's going to roll it up. He's making some more. Right, we'll be back. Right, so you're back with us. We've uh, arranged our biscuits. A few little extra, extra bits. But we don't like waste. Because uh, waste not want not. And uh, you, know, you can't waste anything in these times of great peril and need that we're in at the minute. So, right, in they go. Gas mark six. six fucking hell. I was really hot when I opened that. So I'll put them in for about five minutes. Say goodbye. Just put them in for about five minutes and then I'll turn it round and we'll do the le next five minutes. But in the meantime, Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. Good for you. So if your Alexa just went off, it'll remind you in about five minutes as well. Right then. Next up, we've now got to make the uh, filling. So we'll get the. Um... Oh. Right, so you've probably noticed there was a slight snag in that uh, we smelt burning. We set the greaseproof paper on fire. Um, but it's gone now. At least that's. Oh, fuck it. I was going to. Oh, look. Well, I was going to. Yeah, leave it. In, right. You'll put this in that way. But yeah, you don't get that on uh, Master Chef, do you? Oh shit! Well, that's the peril of cooking in a real oven. I want to have another electric shite here. Real oven. Right, can't smell, there's burning paper smell in here now. Anyway, Jesus Christ. So, next up, we've got to cream the, uh, something. What are we doing? Shelly butter. Right. I'll do the sugar first. Uh, yeah. And 75 grams of butter. 150 grams of icing sugar, but we haven't got any icing sugar. So we'll do it with normal sugar. If it's a bit gritty, we'll have to make do. Buggies can't be choosers in the apocalypse. Lockdown. Leave it. Leave it in. Leave it in. Just leave it. No, I'm getting it out. Do it right or not at all. He says, looking at that mess. Do it right or not at all, he says. Not even <laughs> using the right ingredients. And then 75 grams of butter. So that'll put us up to 225. Oh, you could empty it into the bowl. Or I could empty it into the bowl. Seventy-five grams of butter going in. Half of it's not gone in, and to make up for that fact, that's going in. There we go. So this is our filling. Now, now we've got to do is cream it together. Our sugar in biscuits. What are you filming there? Me? I've made a mess in here. And we didn't bother cleaning the oven or the hob top before we did this. We just thought, hey, 
This is rock and roll. This is apocalyptic cooking. This is this is real cooking. You know, not everybody's got these posh, fancy kitchens that you know we're two blokes. We're not. We're not going to spend a lot of time. Alexa's. Is that five minutes already? Well, that were quick. Right, so if I spin them, surely they won't be ready in that time. We've got to make up for the missing time. Alexa, stop. Alexa, set a timer for one minute. Alexa, set a timer for one minute. One minute. Right. I thought she'd gone on strike then. We've got an electronic version of the coronavirus. Here's a little bit of trivia for you while I'm doing this. That is stirring normally, but I can't I don't know what the name for it is apart from clockwise, but there's an old way of stirring this way. So instead of anti-clockwise, it's called widdershins. Did you know that? And people in ancient times, and Alexa's ready. That was a quick minute, there's something wrong with that, Alexa. But anyway, this in ancient times you would only ever stir clockwise. Just to stir anti-clockwise. To stir anti-clockwise to it was to be invoke the devil. If anyone caught you doing that, you'd have been hung or burnt as a witch or something like that. Terrifying really. They've yeah, been in five minutes now at least. Right, so let's get them let's check in the midway point the custard creams. Not looking bad. Yeah, they're not going to need a huge amount of time actually. You can see that the other. Uh, be careful of that grease proof paper. Shred up. What else I'm going to do here? really nice. They are actually, aren't they? Leave it there. I'm not going to put it right to the back because I don't want to. Alexa! Set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes. Starting now. So yeah, don't stir anti-clockwise is the message there. Full of little facts, Widdershins. Right, and it's not as gritty, noticeably not as gritty. So the next job is to have a little taste. I'm going to, need to feel sick, to be honest with you. Are you having a taste? No, it's butter and sugar. I don't that's need, what's going to be in it. I don't need to taste butter and sugar. Oh Christ no. Uh. No, we've got to do something about that. If you hold, I'll, uh, I'll whisk it up a bit more. Could, no, because that was just butter with lump crystals of sugar in it. Oh, I wasn't recording any of that. So uh, yeah, James is taking over trying to... Um... Have you been recording anything? Because that's recording when it's got the square look. Yeah, and he's got a timer up there yeah. telling you so. No, it wasn't um, for whatever reason. It wasn't when you got it, because I stopped it when he took the biscuits out. Or it, you were on seven odd minutes when you took over. Well, I managed to stop it. But I'm trying to uh, cream this up, but it was just horrible. The sugar's not creamed into it at all. 
and um, so we're going to try and dissolve the sugar into the butter but my arm's not good surprising really considering how level I am pretty much in there um, we don't want it glooping up it's scrape it down a bit do you want a spoon a big spoon Scraping it all off the sides and that. No, it doesn't. Put it on the sides to break all the down. Why is it when you watch cooking programmes, everything looks so tidy? Maybe it's the power of editing. This is the dramatic shot from above. It looks like twisted food now, doesn't it? Doing it shins. Doing it with the shins. Let's do it that way. Burn him. He's coming up. He's beginning to increase in volume now, so it's working. You're going to have a bad arm tomorrow. I ain't got no else to do. Driving instructor. Used to be before Corona hit. Yeah. Now he's a doll dosser. I ain't even that. <laughs> he, ain't, he ain't even that. Now I'm just skinned. <laughs> Alexa, how much? Oh, I'm not filming the van. It's done tidy. Alexa, how much time is left? <laughs> You fake fucker. Alexa, how much time is left? Alexa, how much time is left? You have 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left. The biscuits are coming out in 30 seconds. Still some heavy heavy working of the buttercream stuff going on here. Is it working yet or is it still gritty? It's a little bit gritty, it's not anywhere near as bad as it was. We need to taste it again then in that case. Oh, I've got my finger over the thing there. There it is. Mm. That's why you need caster sugar. Is it no good? It's all right. Time's going. That's why you need icing sugar. Right. Alexa, stop. Shall we fetch these little monkeys out then? Yeah. Right then. Can't really film it and get the them out. <laughs> Fucking hell. Right, and now we're looking. What we're thinking. I like them. They look really nice. They look reasonable. Alright, so we just let them cool. Should we transfer them to a wire rack to cool? Should we just leave them? Yeah. Tasting them first things first. Oh, fucking hell, raw. They need to go back in. Can you put them back in, please, James? Why? Just the raw. And they taste horrible. Oh, they're not very nice. <laughs> oh, dear.
Oh, did you fart then? <laughs> no, your trousers split. Have they? No, he farted. I reckon he farted. Right, well, this is not very good, to be honest with you, but uh, we'll come back. Right, and it's been officially adjudicated that these are ready to come out. So, here we go. Now you'll have to excuse the bits of burnt paper that got all over them. It's a shame, really. Well, they're all done. Yeah, they're done. Right. Start that on. Right, and next job is to. Tease them off here and then transfer them to a wire rack. But what I'm going to do in a minute is try to get that bit that I actually tried earlier. Oh, it nearly went on the floor. texture it's not bad look at the texture inside can you see that bubblinicious yeah it's not bad is it well the initial taste is not custard cream but then it comes through Oh, you want to try a bit, James? It's a bit heavy. I mean, it's a bit hot, I mean. No, I'm all right now. You've blown all over it. <laughs> oh, I haven't got corona. You might have. I might have, actually. I'm That's okay. They're nice. They're not bad, are they? Mm. They're just too hot at the minute. So what we'll do is we'll come back when we've transferred these to a baking thing. A wire rack, I mean. Finished yet? Yeah. Oh, did you get that? <laughs> right then. Have you got, are you recording, honestly? Yes. Right then, so we're back in on this now. And uh, these are at room temperature. And they've not come out bad at all. Okay. They've got a distinctly... You can see that it's rounded on there. And it's rounded on that. So that was good explanation, wasn't it? And then they'll go together like that. So all it falls to now is to put some buttercream on. So... I'm going to use a knife for this. I'll get some. I don't know, don't know how much to put on. It's quite foamy actually now. Is it fermenting? Or something? I'm not sure how much you're supposed to put on, but I'm going to call that enough. And then put that on there. And that, when it's been in the fridge, I think if we fridge it, it'll set it. And that. It's a custard cream, ladies and gents. One custard cream. What do you think? There's one. They're rustic, but they're fun. I'm hoping that they taste alright. But we have had a sneaky taste of the buttercream, that's reasonable. We've had a sneaky taste of the biscuits. They're alright. So I deep fill them, because we've got plenty of this buttercream stuff. I might have to make a Victoria sponge. Put it in between or something. I do know how to do that. Check out me one of my earliest videos. We made fairy cakes. We did.
I was a disaster. No, it wasn't. They came out all right. The, 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 these recipes, they do come out all right. It's just, I can't make it look like a cooking channel. You can see, squidge some on. It's genuine. I could have put some more in that one. In fact, I'm going to open that one up. A little bit more buttercream in that. And my recommendation is to refrigerate them to set that butter up again. And then uh, a lot better. So, we'll leave it here cause for the time being. Because that's all I'm doing. That one's a bit uh, wonky. But I like to call them rustic. See? Um... Let's do a couple of mine, because we have predominantly worked on the ones that James produced. Because they looked better. But... Oops. I've got a message. On the old uh, DM. I slipped into the old DMs there. I was thinking they haven't made, they haven't. So that's a rustic one, and burnt as well, but oh well, this is a, the best one of all actually, come together, that one's nice, a little one, and finally, but most importantly, made an extra special two biscuits. There's one. There's Fat Man. Yeah, that dock. Quite rural. Yeah. That's Fat Man. If we know Fat Man, he has got many, many skills. Fat Man skills. Right. That'll be the thumbnail. And as you can see, that's what we're doing. And when we've got them all trade up and that, and uh, ready to go in the fridge, in fact, We'll come back then. All right, be here. Bye, bye, bye. They are lovely. And we've uh, completed the uh, the lighting's gone all to shit. I'm afraid. Sorry about that. But we've completed the custard creams. Um, we got very rustic. We've gone from very neatly orderly, and we've slowly gone down and down and down to. The mutant biscuit that time forgot. Um, but that's okay. James is, very, is eating all the buttercream. Don't believe the recipe. If I've made these much too thick or something's gone wrong. We've got loads of buttercream. But James is making short work of that. We didn't um, roll out some of these enough. Some of them are a bit thick. Yeah. We could have Sorry, got probably another four nose. or five biscuits out of that. Yeah, we could have done, to Especially be fair. with that one, we could have made at least three biscuits yeah. out of that. Day. And then we could have used it up. But all right, first attempts, these are. And we got the... Uh, I'm going to make that my logo. In fact, that is my thumbnail, I reckon. Fat man skills. No, I've got my shadow in it. Well, anyway, we'll sort it out. Right, these now, if James can do the honours, we've cleared a space in the fridge. It's the old fridge rooney As you can see, we have tidied the kitchen slightly. Um... I say slightly, and um, now into the fridge of doom. No, you need to open the fridge, James. You can't uh, pass it through the door. You are not Harry Potter, as I keep telling you. Now, there's the fridge, and as you can see, we got the priorities sorted at the top there. <laughs> and at the my bottom. shelf. <laughs> that's James's shelf. So he's. <laughs> no, that's my shelf, and this is mixed. 
So uh, there we go. And uh, we'll say hello to the biscuits once again in a few moments, once they've chilled out a bit. Okay, goodbye. Let's. Oh dear. He is eating it all. Yeah, that was vile. That's nice. Right then. So sorry about the mess, actually, thinking about it. I haven't bothered tidying up again. Been at work this morning. Had a hard day. Came home, didn't bother. And then decided to make some biscuits because we're bored. We're on lockdown, apart from working in a supermarket. So let's try a custard cream. Cheers. And a special message during this video. Don't go outside because it's bad. Right then. Don't go out. Well, if that's a custard cream, I'm Kate Moss. It's nothing like custard cream, is it? Look at squeezing out, look. It's like shortbread. It's all, it tastes nice, though. When I dipped in some tea. <coughs> That's right. So I'm trying to try it. 